Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back again to motivate you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. So proud of you guys. Keep going. Keep going, guys. So, you know, take what you know about training routines, and I want you guys to toss it out the window because today I'm going to be showing you guys the best and most comprehensive training routine to improve your fighting skills. Who's ready for this? Come on. You know, ever since Epic added creative matchmaking, you know, finding opponents for build battles and box fights has become easier than ever, right? You know, free building and aim training are obviously great too, but you know, they don't add the pressure element, which can really just leave you unprepared once you have to face the real deal. And I know transferring creative skills is something, you know, a lot of you guys struggle with. So this routine should really help you guys, you know, get into tip top shape by next season. Also, we are happy to announce we are doing a huge Black Friday sale just for you guys. When you sign up for our membership, get a massive 35% off pro coaching, VOD reviews, and this also applies for all services we offer. We highly recommend taking advantage of this while it lasts, as we're offering a guarantee. Use promo code Black Friday to get started. And if you're on the Code War hype train, we've just launched our brand new COD channel. We're going to be posting insane content such as tips and tricks guys and so much more so check that out link below and also we just launched our brand new pro guides gaming channel which we're going to cover all sorts of esports related content such as stories documentaries video reviews and so much more so go ahead and drop a sub for awesome content so to start we're gonna be going over warming up our aim and peace control, which is so important. And after that, you know, we're gonna get into the matchmaking side of things, which includes aim duels, you know, box fights and zone wars from some of our favorite map makers of all time. So make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and let me know in the comments, you know, a rough idea of what kind of training routine you guys currently use. Other than that, yo, bunch of crunch army, let's get this going. All right, guys, so for the first part of our routine involves training our aim and builds. And for that, we're gonna use two awesome masks by Don Wozy. First one being aim trainer. All right, here's the code, guys. You're gonna load into it just like any other creative course, pick weapons, and then just look toward the scenarios wall. Now, what you pick here is entirely your preference, all right? There are a ton of incredible scenarios here, each useful in their own ways, but unfortunately, the circular target ones don't really work with aim assist. So, I recommend starting with 360 Zombie Frenzy. You can choose between free play or time trial modes. Really, both are fine, but unless you're trying to track your progress, I just go into free play for at least five or so minutes. One tip that I can give you is really just try to incorporate movement while you shoot. You won't be standing still while you shoot in a real match, so it's better to practice with shooting while moving. Strafe left and right and just throw in some crouches just so you can just make this aim training a bit more realistic. And once you're done, you could just emote at any time just to head back to the main room. And after zombie frenzy, I recommend you try a horizontal and vertical tracking at both medium and long ranges. These classic scenarios are going to help you guys improve, you know, your AR tracking a whole lot. You definitely don't want to skip these ones. Of course, headshots deal significantly more damage, so try to keep your crosshair leveled at head height while you spray these zombie boys down. Once you're done with these two drills, you should head into reaction flick shots. In this one, a bunch of targets fly out from random directions, and your job is to keep your crosshair on the center wall and just flick your shotgun to hit the targets. And don't worry about missing. The whole point is just to work on your flicks, which means you want to shoot fast so you can just quickly work up your muscle memory to the point where you're not missing as often. And if you keep missing, just keep working at it, it's all right. I can't stress enough how much practice it requires to be consistently hitting these shots. So just keep at it, man, and eventually you're gonna get there. Finally, the last scenario we recommend is the peak course. This one's actually challenging in that, you know, these bots will absolutely stomp you out unless you could just make near perfect peaks. But the good thing is that it's great for training all the common peaks, like the peanut butter, window edits, jump shots, and so on. So give it a try, and once your aim is feeling crisp, head back into the main room. And you should see Don Wellesley's peace control on the wall, which you can just interact with to conveniently get sent to our next map. In the meantime, though, I know a lot of you guys are trying to improve and maybe place better an attorney. If you are, I recommend checking out ProGuys.com, where you can just 
talk directly to a pro coach and just even get advice or even schedule a session where they go over vibes and really help you guys improve. If that sounds good to you, click right up here to check it out. So, I know peace control is an area many of you guys want to improve at. Fortunately for us, this map, yet again by Don Wozzi, is one of the more well-designed levels we've seen that really help improve peace control. Now, I personally recommend going through all four of these courses to get the best overall practice possible, but if you're strapped for time, all right, the two most effective ones are peace control drills and peace control course. The drill section is laid out in a way where you can just practice all the common peace control techniques you use in a real match. For instance, you have double edits into wall control, triple edits into mongrel classics, and several scenarios where you can use practice boxing and enemies. These are the skills that 99% of us need to work on improving. So we recommend running through each drill at least once. And trust me, once you start to recognize the pattern involved, your peace control in games whew, is going to improve drastically. Now, the course section is also very useful for testing your ability to react with peace control on the fly. The goal here, and I mean like right here, is to build in as many open spaces as you can while you traverse through and eliminate the targets set up along the way. But you also need to pretend that the metal bills belong to your opponent. So no editing those, all right? You need to work around them. There is a timer that starts and ends automatically as well. So what's great is that you can just track your progress across multiple runs to measure just how well you're improving. Anyways, that's what we recommend you do for peace control practice. Shout out to Don Wozzi for creating such amazing maps, by the way. If you want to see more by him, check out his channel in the description below. But to move on to the next phase of this routine, all right, leave your game and head back into creative. All right, once you're in, you're gonna load up the first custom matchmaking map of this routine, 1v1 Aim Duels, by the legendary map maker Raider464. All right, so to join, you load it up just like any other map, and then once you're in, you're gonna see two different options, a close range aim duel with aim assist, and another that's multi-range with no aim assist at all. I suggest that you pick the one with aim assist, since, you know, if you play on a controller, it's a no-brainer, obviously. You want aim assist. And B, you know, it has the most active player base, making it easier to find opponents. But basically, interact, and it's going to queue you up for matchmaking. And once you get in, you might have to be a tiny bit patient just to find a worthy opponent, especially if you're playing in a less populated region. But personally, throughout our testing on NAEs, we found players very quickly. All right, so once you've found an opponent, you kind of have to coordinate, you know, picking weapons, health, and an arena size. It seems that there aren't many restrictions to what you can pick, but since practice is the goal, I say keep it fair and keep it relevant to the current season. This is about practice, guys, and if you're just trying to be a troll, then you've basically already lost. So there are a bunch of different portals to pick, too. Personally, I really find the ones with stairs to be very awkward to fight in, just like I do in real games. So for me, those ones are my favorite to hit up, but really, any of them are really fine for improving your close range aim. So just hop into the opposite portal your opponent does, someone presses the start button, and it's exactly what the name says, an aim duel in its purest form. One extremely vital tip that I can give for close range fights is to think about your movement. Your movement is really what helps you avoid damage and it's a massive part of winning close range fights. Not only is it better to be unpredictable, but you've also got to time your strafes and jumps correctly. For example, if you're in a shotgun duel, time it so that you can just jump as soon as your opponent is about to shoot. If timed right, they'll probably miss their shot. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to just spam jump or another movement pattern because any decent player is just going to recognize that pattern and just start lining up the shots on you, right? Also, let me say this. When strafing, try to get up close and personal. Toward the right side of your opponent is usually the best since it puts your character in an awkward spot and it makes it more difficult for them to aim. Overall, okay, you want to run at least 15 to 20 rounds of this mode, more if you have the time. And that brings us to the final part of this routine, ladies and gentlemen, box fights and zone wars. So the best matchmaking hub that we found for box fights was Clixis, created by Panville. 
in it? All right, you can choose between 1v1 box fights, dual box fights, dual fill box fights, or 1v1 zone wars. But for the purposes of this training routine, we're gonna focus on box fights. Just make sure your use keybind isn't the same as your start game keybind. It was for us, so we had to go in and bind use to a second key, which allowed us to queue in. But if you watch clicks or any other pros, I'm sure you've seen plenty of box fighting. And you know that slow play is typically better than quick plays. So try to get a cone or a stair control in every contested box. A lot of these piece control drills you did earlier are gonna come in handy here. Also, make sure to pressure most walls with your AR and really utilize blueprints so that you can edit from a safer distance. And lastly, try to soften them up by using you know, top rate jump peaks before you close in for the kill. Because if you get up close too quickly, you risk dying due to a lack of build control. This video isn't really meant for box fighting tips. It's more just to show you guys the maps and training routine. So if you wanna learn more about effective box fighting strategies, yo, check out our video here. All right, guys, so that really includes what we think is the best training routine in the current season. Although, just know that if you're having trouble finding players, Epic has their own matchmaking area in the Creative Hub, which usually has at least a couple of solid maps. For instance, like at the time of making this video, the matchmaking section is up the stairs and to the left. And if you walk through the practice games portal, there is a most popular banner, which includes one of the funnest maps for training. Realistic Solos by Pretty Boy. If you're looking for a fun way to practice in games, check to see if Realistic Solos is in the matchmaking hub. Okay, so if you see this or any other similar matchmaking options like box fights or zone wars, definitely just queue up if you can't find players in the custom matchmaking hubs we showed in this video. All right guys, so to recap, the routine is aim training, right? Uh, peace control drills, you know, aim duels, and, and then box fights. I say spend at least 15 minutes in each, you know, which totals to a minimum of one hour before hopping into arenas. Yeah, that amount of time can be a lot. I get it. But this routine is meant to elevate your skills to the next level. And if you don't put in the time, guys, you can't really expect to see crazy results. That's just reality, right? Also, while this routine works wonders for improving your mechanics and fighting skills, Fortnite isn't really entirely about that. And you know, you absolutely need to play arenas, tourneys, or even scrims. At most, we think creative practice like this should only make up about 25% of your daily play time. The rest should be playing arenas, tourneys, or scrims. So don't think you can just sit in creative all day and then hop into a, a cash cup and just win it, right? Like if you want to reach that level of skill, you need to primarily practice in arena. So you can just learn all of those other aspects. Speaking of which, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. And if you guys found this training routine helpful today, make sure to like the video. You can always just sub with the bell button on for more videos. Bunch of crunch army, where are you at? Your motivation guy is back. And I'll see you on the next one.